Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Maury Christine, and thanks for joining me for this furry friend tag um, video. So I know that you guys have seen Dylan a lot on my Instagram as well as in previous videos. So I figured I would kind of like be super late to the party, I guess, and do a furry friend tag with Dylan. Also, you guys, if you plan on doing a furry friend tag or like looking it up, be wary that like the furry community is super weird and it's one of the first things that pops up. So Dylan historically does not like to be on camera or uh, photographed. She is super, super cute and nice in person um, to humans, not to other dogs. Um, but then once you put a camera in front of her, make her get in front of the camera, um, she does this. She just looks like I'm torturing her and like I'm the worst mom ever. This is Dylan. She is a Morky, so she is a Maltese Yorkie mix. Um, the Maltese clearly took over quite a bit. Underneath her sweatshirt, she has like brownish uh, hair, like on the tips of it, but it's mostly just white. And this is also her shirt I got recently. It says bad to the bone, which does not fit her personality at all. Um, I've had Dylan now for almost four years. I got her at 10 weeks old. Um, and she will be for April 1st. The way that I got her is um, my parents actually took me to Happiness as Pets. And if you guys are unfamiliar with Happiness as Pets, they basically are just like a puppy store. Um, I have like a love-hate thing with them because I mean clearly you love puppies. It's so much fun to go in there and be able to play with them. But then at the same time, once the puppies hit about, I think 12 weeks old or so, they put the puppies on sale like like a huge discount because they're just trying to get rid of the dog and in the back of my head i'm thinking so what happens if nobody still buys the dog or like where do y'all put it so there was a part of me that like every time i go in there first of all i just want every puppy because they're all so cute but then i also just want to save all of them because i don't know what happens when they get too old i have one that says favorite memory with your pet and i mean i guess my favorite one so far is Um, I guess my favorite one so far is when I moved out, actually. Um, I was kind of nervous that she was going to not adjust to apartment life because, you know, when you live at home and you have parents and nieces and nephews coming over, you know, my brother and my sister and stuff, um, she was constantly surrounded by people. Um, so, like, now it's one of my favorite things that's just me and her and she's adjusted so well. Um, and that she's like so excited when I come home from work and I can just take her for walks and stuff. So I don't have like a very specific memory um, of her that makes me happy. Mm, quirky things about your pet. I don't know. She has a badass personality though. Like she just, like she listens when she wants to listen. If she doesn't want to listen, she just won't. Um, so it's not like she's quirky. She is more like naughty. Um, but she's very curious and adventurous. Um, she does not like other dogs at all. Um, when I was, you know, first getting her and I was like, well, I want to acclimate her to other dogs because my previous dog, my childhood dog, we never really acclimated him to other dogs and he hated other dogs. So I made sure to take her out and like have play dates with other dogs and she is just not here for it. Favorite pastime. So me and her, like, I mean, she loves just to like lay in bed and eat snacks with me. Um, but then she really does love going on walks now that it's cold out here. It's literally like negative 20 with the wind chill. Um, she's not really for that life right now. <laughs> But um, in general, you know, she likes to go on her walks and she likes to sleep and cuddle and eat snacks. Her favorite snack or her favorite food is definitely carrots. Um, she likes watermelon when it's in season, but um, that's when I buy it. But she really, really loves carrots. It's like her favorite thing. And as far as nicknames, um, Allison calls her a burrito because she is, um, she's a little, you know, chubby for her size. Um, you know, but we, we work with it. So she calls her a little burrito. Sometimes I call her mashed potato because, you know, she's white and she likes carbs. So <laughs> we'll sometimes use that. Um, and then most of the time I'll call her like dill or something for short. Um, yeah. yeah. No, just not here for it. Okay. 
Well, I think that is it, guys. Um, I don't really know what else you would need to know about Dylan, but of course in the comments, you know, you can leave any questions that you have about Dylan. You know how it is. If you want to see any videos, please comment any videos you guys would like to see. Otherwise, everything in the description box will be my blog, my Instagram, Facebook page, all that fun stuff. And then I will see you next week in my next video. Bye. Say bye. Say bye.